guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Falling, she calling, got a stalling if I'm so if you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Jennifer and I make videos. So for today, I'm just going to go ahead and be talking to you guys about my six to eight week journey on Soloth, aka Sertraline. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the pros. Um, one of the pros is when I would film, like say right now, I would be filming or I would you know attempt to film and like i would just get so like sweaty like i would drench and fucking sweat and i'll be like okay look let, let me show you guys how i would be you see my son's right here <laughs> he's like mimicking me like let me show you guys let me get my fucking water because hold on papa okay so for example say i would be filming right now and like obviously before the medication i would be like okay <sighs> Like, literally, I would just be like that. Like, I would be so anxious and, like, sweaty and nervous and just, like, what the fuck? You know, like, it's hot. Like, man, I was a hot-ass mess. So, yeah, I would okay. basically be so fucking nervous and I would just be, like, sweating and shit like that. So, that, so, as I was taking the medication, I have noticed, like, that was one of the big things that I did notice um, that this Zoloft really helped me on was... I'm not as camera shy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know it may seem like I'm not camera shy to begin with, but like, like I said before, I was like, you know, like I was fucking weird. <laughs> and then also, um, what else? Like, I have not had a panic attack since I started taking this medication, so that is also a plus. I definitely do think, um, this medication made me more calm and made me just less irritated, you know, cause I don't know, like before this medication, I just felt so like, like everything was a drag. Like literally everything was a fucking drag. Like going to work was a drag. Being at work was a drag. Coming home was a drag. Like, I don't know, man. And like, just having a child on top of that and it's just like I want this I want that come over here come over here like it was just very overwhelming for me you guys I mean obviously you guys know I live by myself so that being said it was kind of just so hard you know always working 24 7 and then just like trying to balance everything out I was so overwhelmed so definitely this medication helped me just like be stable just like mentally emotionally I'm not gonna lie though I do sometimes have my ups and downs like I had a mental breakdown like the other day sometimes I, I will have my mental breakdown still I will still just like think about something like for example I don't know if this is just like a mom thing or you know but I break down sometimes like the other day I broke down because I was just looking at my son and I'm just like oh my god you're getting so big like I wish like I had a job that you know I can spend every second with you and still be getting paid and just like just so I can be there with him you know and like he's just growing up so fast and that really just broke my heart you know what I'm saying like that's my baby right there and just yeah like I was ugly crying and shit but I think that's pretty normal and stuff um, so like I said, I did start taking this medication towards nighttime, and it does make me get like a full ass fucking sleep. Like I will not wake up in the middle of the night. Like I just will sleep throughout the whole motherfucking night, and it is the most peaceful thing, you know. But I I hate taking them like during the day because it does make me super duper sleepy, and boom, <laughs> and um. <laughs> Okay, so like I was saying before I got rudely interrupted, my child, um, I don't like taking this during the day just because I'd be like, okay, so motivated to film during the day and whatnot, and then I even do my home makeup just to film when I get home or whatever, and since I took the pill during the day, like I'm just what? like, like once I get home, like an hour or two, I'll just be doing me with my baby or whatever, and then I'll like knock the fuck out, like obviously Eli knocks out too but you know I just don't like that because I don't get shit done so that's like one of my biggest mama, cons like mama, mama. please don't touch that baby thank you he likes to touch my um what 
this is called my light boxes, my soft boxes, but he already broke one, so we don't we don't need that right. So the other day, like I said, I took 125 mg, and when I was driving back home, um, it's like a 45 minute drive from where I work to my um <clears throat> to my place. Like I just felt so emotionless again like I just like as I was driving I was zoning the fuck out but in my head I was thinking like just like I don't know I just felt disconnected from my body to be honest I definitely do feel like Hi. this um did Hi. make me happy before hi baby but now it's just everything that's coming day. back to me and it's just like I feel like I need something a little bit stronger or maybe just keep, you know, taking 125 mg. But right now I just feel like very normal. Okay, I'm just gonna hold it because Eli is like bumping into everything. So yeah, I just feel very like mellow. It's not like a zan, you guys. It's not like that at all. Um... I don't know, I just feel like I expected a little bit, I don't know, more results. I don't know, I fucking felt like it was going to be like the happiest pill and it was just going to lift me up. I just wish that like, I don't know, I just feel like I wasn't always like this. Like I was always just like a happy ass bitch, you know, like. I was so out fucking going and I was like, I always wanted to go out and I was like so into everything, you know, like I don't have interest in anything right now, like at least how I used to, like I always wanted to, you know, I don't know, I just had so fucking many goals that I wanted to do and now I feel like I don't know like my mind wants to but my body doesn't I feel like a fucking I don't know I just feel like so not me you know like I mean I'm obviously gonna keep continuing to take you know the medication and whatnot but I'm not gonna sit here and say that this is a bad medication because I don't think it is because if you guys watched my previous videos on it like my four to six week then you would know that I mentioned it being like a really good medication and that it really did get me happy and like it really got me going you know like it gave me that little boost but now it's kind of just like not there anymore and it's just like I feel really fucking stuck mentally and just super disconnected from like everything and like i just i don't know i'm like a really about me person what's up hmm? what's up run them up but yeah i just don't feel any change right now i went back to the same kind of mindset that you know what is this type shit you know um, obviously we're gonna keep pushing and we gonna get oh, no. there um i mean i'm good you know it is what it is um yeah so what i'm really trying to hold on to what's really like keeping me gripped down is pocket. your pocket is just like pocket for your money for the money you gotta really be grateful for what the fuck you have right now especially right now I'm good, you know, like you got to have that mindset to really be, you to really progress, that's what I feel like it is, like you got to have that mindset like, alright, I got everything that I need, you know, like for me that's really what is, you know, keeping me lifted is I have everything I need, like my baby has everything he needs and for that, you have to be grateful, so, you know, like there was a time where I was just like, like so sad over like everything like i was just so fucking sad and i didn't really have a reason and like something one of the things that i had i had took for granted 
and I lost, you know, this specific thing. It wasn't a person, you guys. It was just something. And then, like, I started realizing, I'm just like, damn, like, I snooze, like, blah, 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 and stuff like that. And, you know, then I got it back later on. So it's like, you got to really have that mindset that oh no you're good you know cup. like appreciate what you fucking have Ooh, i'm sorry if you hear him in the background you guys i tell him to charge his tablet all the time Shit. but you just gotta really be grateful for what you have you guys and do not take anything for granted like that shit could be gone like this mijita by the way my little horns are from where are they from they're from Windstore. I got them for about $15. Mm -hmm. Yes, girl. So overall, you guys, <clears throat> I am like a 50-50 with this medication. Like, it has its pros and it has its cons. But I'm going to keep continuing to, you know, see what goes on. I mean, I mean, overall, you guys, like, I'm good. Like, like I'm good. We're good. Like, it's all good like we gonna be okay we gonna get through it and you know we just gotta have that mindset like be grateful for what you got and do not be a bitter bitch okay do not be a bitter bitch Dude, we ain't no this ain't that okay i feel like i'm just going like this and then down and then up and then down with um quick update on the vivid dreams i have not had a vivid dream um, since I continue to take this medication and again um, I didn't stop this medication thank you Papa I didn't stop this medication because I wanted to I stopped because I just lost track of you know my pills and just I ran out and I had to wait a couple of days because they had my pharmacy wrong hold on Papa and um, that's pretty much why and then I just started getting these loose I mean these vivid dreams and you know, since I've been on it, like I said, I have not had a vivid dream. I was gonna say lucid dream, like fucking Juice World, R.I.P. But with that being said, I definitely think that if you are on it or you are thinking about getting on it, then I would say just go ahead and give it a shot. You know, I mean, it doesn't hurt. <clears throat> you not scared, big boy. You not scared, you big boy. Um, just go ahead and give this medication a shot like you have nothing to lose you can always stop it or try something else um, Just talk to your doctor first like I said As for me like I'm just chill, you know, like I'm just like a chill person and I Mean I'm just here making videos, you know, just chilling. I don't know like I haven't even took my medication right now um, Because like I said, I like taking it during the night time. I mean, it is night, so I'm probably gonna take it um, within the next hour. Mama. What happened, baby? Volcano. No, it's not volcano. <laughs> so it's raining right now, you guys, and Eli's getting really scared, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stop this video right here i hope this video was helpful for you guys and just follow me along my journey especially if you are barely starting zoloft or just have any questions about it you can always hit me up because i know when i first heard of that medication i was like what is that what is that you know like how does that make you feel and stuff like that so i would have definitely wanted you not skill boy i would have definitely wanted someone you know advice or just experience on that that i can talk to and connect with so do not be afraid to hit me up and just have that connection you feel but till next time you guys make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button to join the family and i will see you guys in the next one wait i forgot about eli say bye bye Falling, she calling, got a star